we're experimenting with hard sync. We've got the two oscillators tuned to the same frequency. Even though they're tuned to the same frequency, there's going to be a slight phase shift between them. It's almost impossible to eliminate that regardless of what waveform you're using. Right now we're using the pulse waveform which is set for square wave as you can see. And uh, they're shifting relative to each other slowly which means they're very near to the same frequency. We call that beating. Immediately we plug in the hard sync. They're perfectly locked in synchronism. As you can see the bottom and the top waveform are identical. We're operating in the dual trace mode as you can see. The bottom waveform now we're going to vary the frequency we're going to leave the top one. The top one is the one going into the hard sync of the bottom one. So the top one is the master and the bottom one is the slave. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the bottom one up an octave. We're just going to go up slowly one octave on the bottom one. Observe what happens as we slowly increase the frequency of the slave and listen to the tone. First you notice that the frequency isn't altered at all, the timber is altered. And then when just before you reach the octave, it jumps from, it jumps the octave, there's no in-between tones, the, 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 the frequency remains constant while the timber changes and then just before you reach the complete uh, octave, it jumps the octave right at the very end of the travel of the pot. We'll try it now with a triangle wave so you can see the difference. We must use a pulse or square wave for the master which is what you see at the top. At the bottom trace you can see that the period of the triangle wave is the same as that of the square wave above. They have the same pitch but a different timber. The timber that you're listening to right now is the triangle wave and the triangle wave is the one that we are going to increase the frequency of so that you can see what happens to it. So watch the triangle wave at the bottom and listen to the timber as we raise the frequency on the triangle oscillator. Notice that the fundamental ha frequency hasn't changed, only the timber.
Watch as it jumps now the octave. Did you hear that octave jump at the very end? And now look at the waveform and you will see that we have two triangle waves to one square wave. So it's twice the frequency now on the triangle wave. Now what is happening here and the reason why you're hearing the octave is because it, the, the hard sync is resetting the waveform at exactly the same spot it would reset anyway, even without having them locked together. Even without the sync, it would reset. So it isn't interfering with the wave. The changes that you observed in the triangle wave are because the master oscillator is forcing a reset at the point that you saw the wave alter. Thank you for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and we'll see you soon again.